Okay, in this video I want to start talking about proportions, and proportions are basically just fractions or ratios. So, uh, you definitely see proportion problems all the time. It's something that's very common, you know. Um, I was making a new recipe, I was cooking dinner the other day, and the, the, the recipe called for, it was based for like eight people, but all I needed was it was for four. So the idea is, well, in that case, you just cut everything down by half, but the idea is you're keeping that same proportion. So, okay, so in this video, I'm going to just talk about some basic algebra techniques to solve proportions. We'll do a very basic uh, proportion problem as well. And then in part two, we'll do some slightly more complicated word problems involving proportions. So again, to me, this is some of the most um, most useful type of mathematics. Certainly, you know, people say sometimes, you know, when will I ever use this? Well, you use proportions all the time. Maybe you're not even consciously aware that you're using them, but they certainly crop up all the time. So, okay, so an example. So here in the good old U.S. of A., we use feet and inches to measure distances. God knows why we do it. Um, anyways, though, we have the conversion. So one foot is equal to 12 inches. And that's what makes life complicated. It would be so much easier if we used, say, 10 inches. But whatever. Okay. So one foot equals 12 inches. And we often say that there... So the way that we say it in English, uh, when we would talk, we, we would say, well, there are 12 inches per foot. Or sometimes you'll hear people say there are 12 inches in a foot. So I'm going to use this idea of per, because when I write things, this, this word per makes me think of a fraction. Okay, so let's do a very basic problem. Suppose we measure someone's height, and they are 64 inches tall. We want to know how many feet tall are they. Well, the idea is, you know, you could, you could clearly just sort of uh, uh, divide by 12, and that's basically what we're doing. You're keeping the proportion the same. So if you want to set this up in terms of a proportion, we have this conversion that 1 foot to 12 inches. So I'm thinking, you know, you could even write down units. I'm always a little lazy with units, but I'm basically thinking on top I've got feet, and on the bottom I have inches. Okay, so we want to know how many feet we get, and that's going to be our unknown. We want to know how many feet tall the person is. Well, how many feet tall are they per 64 inches? Okay, so this is our basic proportion. We just have this equation, 1 over 12 equals x over 64. And again, you're probably thinking, hey, just divide by 12. Again, but that's perfect. That's exactly what you should be doing. This is a proportion. So. This, this idea of setting up a proportion will be more useful in, you know, slightly more complicated examples, for sure. So, we have 1 over 12 equals x over 64. Well, to solve, we could just multiply both sides by 64, right? So, I'm dividing by 64 on the right side. I want to get the x by itself. Since I'm dividing by 64, I'll multiply both sides by 64. The 64s will cancel out on the right side, leaving us with just x. And then we're left with 64, right? You can think about that as being 64 over 1. We just multiply across the top and across the bottom. That gives us 64 over 12. And now we can do some division. I'm going to do some uh, simplification first. So these are definitely both even. If I divide by 2, I'll get 32 over 6. Well, these are still both even. I can reduce that a little bit more. Let's see, 32 divided by 2, that's going to be 16. Six, if we take 6 and divide it by 2, that's going to be 3. So let's see, 3 goes into 16. I'm going to make this into a mixed number now. 3 goes into 16 5 times with 1 left over. So it basically says you are 5 and 1 third feet tall, is how tall that person would be. Or if we convert it back to inches, they'll be 5 feet. Now this is where we have to be a little careful. Right, a third of a foot, that's not 0.333 feet. Um, well, excuse me, it is 0.333 feet, but it's not. We have to be careful when we convert it to inches. So one third, well, what's one third of a foot? That would be four inches. Okay, so the person who we measured it to be 64 inches tall, that person is five feet and four inches. So we'll do some more slightly complicated examples in the second video. So. A basic technique that you use to solve proportion problems is cross multiplication. Okay, so cross multiplication. 
can get rid of this stuff underneath. And we'll do a couple problems here using cross multiplication. So cross multiplication says basically if you have a fraction, let's say A over B equals C over D. If you want to, you can create an equation with no... You can basically get rid of the fractions by doing, again, this is where we call it cross multiplication. We take the top left, multiply it by the bottom right, that'll give us A times D. And then we do the same thing, the bottom left, we multiply it by the top right. So that's known as cross multiplication. So let's use cross multiplication to solve these couple of equations here. Well, let's see, if I do x times 3, that's going to give us 3x. And if we do 4 times 8, that's going to give us 32. Well, to solve for x, since I'm multiplying both sides by, uh, since I'm multiplying the x by 3, we'll divide both sides by 3. And that'll give me x equals 32 over 3. So you could turn that into a decimal. I like working with fractions just because in algebra you have to work with fractions all the time, so I think it's a good idea to get used to it. So I'm going to leave my answer like that. Same thing if we multiply 5 times 7. So on our next equation we have 5 divided by 3 minus 2x equals 4 over 7. So 5 times 7. We have to be careful because we have to distribute when we multiply the 3 minus 2x by the 4. So I'm going to write 4 and then in parentheses 3 minus 2x. And again, okay, so we've got 35. If we distribute, 4 times 3 will be 12. 4 times negative 2x, that's going to be negative 8x. And, okay, we could subtract 12 from both sides. So if we subtract 12, subtract 12, that's going to give us, well, let's see, 35 minus 12, that's going to give us 23 equals, we still have the negative 8x left over on the right side. And now we can just divide both sides by negative 8. And that'll give us our solution, x equals negative 23 divided by 8. So again, in this case, when we do our cross multiplication, we're just getting linear equations. Uh, you could get something different. Um, but again, the basic idea is, again, you can just use this cross multiplication to help you get rid of the fractions. And then you can proceed from there. So in my next video, I'm going to start doing three word problems. So here they are. Um, you can take a quick glance at them. And we'll use proportions to, to solve these next, these next few problems.